All right, so Eric and I came over to Hall Over Marina to jump on a 34 Sea Lion, which actually, believe it or not, it's the first time we get to jump on one. Take a little sea trial. They're about to deliver this boat. It's gonna be taken up north tomorrow, so we're gonna get a quick shot to put the drone up in the air, show you the ins and outs, and maybe just take a quick spin. So come along with us and enjoy. So ran over to Hall Over Marina today to jump on this 34 sea lion. This boat was actually recently sold. It's gonna be shooting up north tomorrow morning. So they're doing some final uh, quick checks and whatever is needed before it takes off. But we're gonna jump inside, show you this boat in detail. What's up guys? from Sea Lion Boats. Now this is their latest, just hit the water here today. It's gonna to be taken by their new owner up north uh, tomorrow morning. And I believe they're gonna get it bloody this afternoon right out of the gate. So before they do that, we wanna take you on a quick walkthrough, show you some of the details that they put on this boat specifically. And this is the first time we actually jump on one, I believe floating in the water. Uh, so it's pretty exciting for us as well. So we're gonna start at the bow. First off, you're gonna see very interesting here, uh, Minn Kota. Taroba on a 34 footer. You're seeing this more and more on these larger center consoles. It's just uh, the functionality of them. They're extremely comfortable. They'll lock you in space in your, in your spot. You don't have to use your anchor in a lot of occasions. So it's cool to see. Uh, definitely a lot of power to be able to hold this boat in place. And you can pop that out of the way if you're not using it as well. Nicely finished anchor locker up here at the bow. Now this is a 10 foot beam. On this 34, we'll work our way. You see, you got a lot of storage space. This is meant as just small uh, additional storage. You can fit a bucket in there, throw your cast net, you know, any your, your dock lines, anything you just kind of want to store out of the way. You have a fish box here at the bow. Very nicely finished if you see the inside of this box. Nice husky gasket here to keep water out. This actually works its way all the way underneath this coffin box option that they went with here so you got a ton of storage all insulated as well check this out really nice lounger here in front of the console obviously a great cooler space as well bouncing around to the islands whatever it is you do you know you can never have enough storage enough spots to be able to hold ice bait food drinks and you can keep them off the deck which is nice and then obviously for the family or the boys going out fishing it's a real comfortable spot here uh, with cup holders either side fresh water access here on the port side and we'll work our way up this one has night track vision which we're seeing more and more of here nice led uh, uh, light down the hard top we'll work our way back fresh and salt water wash down insulated storage here as well both sides of the console plenty of storage for your rods to keep them out of the way which is a great spot here by the console stays nice and together you're gonna to see there's gonna be no shortage of rod storage on this boat have the little access holes here in the hard top to be able to just keep everything in place and not flapping around everywhere got taco outrigger bases on this one I believe they're doing marsh tacky riggers jl audio speakers which you're going to see in the hard top nice oversized hard top offering plenty of shade while you're here in the helm area simrad electronics as you can see nice 16 inch screens they look like from here we get this out of the way 
very comfortable helm seating. Pop this back up if you're not you know, on a long trip or anything and just uh, the usual standing position is usually most comfortable. Got their Bokatech, I believe, switch panel. Um, protected and out of the way with a plexiglass which offers you great visibility uh, while you're standing here operating the boat. Looks like you got autopilot. What else do you have on here that I'm missing? Gauges, we use a Go9 for our gauges in place of the C10 Suzuki gauges, like you spoke. The twin 16 Evo 3S's, autopilot, uh, as a 10kW rail on top, uh, run, winding out the Simrad package there. Very good. VHFs up top, out of the way. They're really nice. As you'll see on this one, it has a you know, beautiful piping setup. No shortage of rod storage here, rod holders. You can see two rows of it. You got your retractable or collapsible uh, second station. So you can pop that back, the rear piece falls this way and that forward piece goes forward. Um, so you can trailer this boat comfortably or store it. And then when you're ready to put it in the water, you know, what does it take uh, a couple guys to put that up? Two guys. Two guys, all it takes to put that up. This is the first one that they actually put the, uh, the, the stair case unit, as you would call it, on, on the two sides. Usually they have a setup down the center. So this is nice, kind of keep the space open. You have your kind of your tackle area here. Oh, thought there was something under there. No, this is just a piece you can remove. I guess you can replace that once yeah, you beat it up board. after a while. Exactly. Get your cutting board and keep it fresh. You got tackle storage under here and a retractable cooler. I believe there's more tackle here than I might have overlooked. Some drawer space. You have another one on your side there? Access for storage. Access. Okay. All right. We can pop this out. Take a look at the bilge. Great access, nice and clean. As you can see, you can fit a couple of people in here. You got a sea chest in the back. So these guys are gonna do serious fishing on this boat. It's definitely equipped for that. Show you one of the uh, fish boxes here as well so you can see that. All nicely finished, plenty of room, all insulated obviously. So again, JL audio speakers, as you'll see underneath the gunnels everywhere on this boat. Um, one thing they did on this one, and this is the first one, Thought we have a boat working its way out there. They actually eliminated the uh, transom door on this one. They added another live well. These are 35 gallons a piece. And then down the center, put kind of a bait hatch. They can put their rig ballyhoo and, and any sort of bait that they want to rig up and get ready. Um, they have a great spot for it there. They added rod holders along the transom. And then what they did do is put the first side door that Sea Lion has integrated into their 34. Nice and smooth, tucks out of the way. Suzuki's on this one pretty impressive numbers um, they were cruising I believe 40 miles an hour burning 1.5 1.6 miles per gallon and I believe there's 55 miles an hour 55 miles an hour top end uh, fully loaded down it came down a hair but extremely impressive for twin 350s on 34 footer especially with a 10 foot beam like this one so really great boat excellent group here at sea lion we've known them for a while we're excited to see more of these their 27 is a beautiful boat as well we look forward to jumping on that and we hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough um we'll hopefully get some have some drone footage mixed in here and and have a great overview of the, on this 34 sea lion specifically so if you find some value in this uh, do us a favor subscribe to our channel pass it along to your friends and family and much more of this coming very soon thanks guys
you have it. Gonna get some exterior shots and these boys are actually gonna go out and get some lines wet right now. Hit the reef. Eric getting some photos. Beautiful boat. Ooh, that's pretty right there. Love that collapsible second station also. All right, guys, well, there you have it. That was our sea trial on the 34 Sea Lion. Really nice boat. I mean, it's a newer brand name, but they do great quality. The price is phenomenal. I think they're somewhere in the mid 200s for something like that. Um, and that, and I might be wrong with the twins, but 1.6 miles per gallon, 40 miles per hour, 300 gallons of fuel. Uh, you know, it's a great boat. Collapsible second station, full Simrad electronics. That boat's gonna be uh, fishing all kinds of tournaments. So I'm sure you're gonna see it throughout social media. Uh, we're going to show you more through our uh, Instagram, YouTube. Make sure to follow us on all these different platforms. And thank you very much, as always, for your support. See you soon.